Good morning, lovelies. Zoe 2 dots here with a bit of a, um, I feel like it's just one of those conversations that we kind of need to have videos for you. Uh, if you guys were in the live stream this morning, I'm just going to be kind of rebroadcasting the discussion we had this morning about uh, the new changes slash rollbacks to certain features that'll be happening more than likely unless they decide to change their mind uh, in Pokemon Go. It's pretty much just going to be a cut down version of the conversation we had this morning, like just direct from the live stream, cutting out any of like the dead air in between. But I wanted to put this, I get into this disclaimer at the end of the video, but I wanted to put this at the start of the video because I know a lot of you might not watch all the way through to the end. Again, we go into detail on a lot of different subjects and my opinions on disagreeing with the intended rollback of the Pokestop and gym interaction radius. But I wanted to say right up front, if you want to provide critical feedback to Niantic, to Pokemon, to Pokemon Go, to the Pokemon Company, whatever it might be, do it. Uh, the difference being critical feedback, remove the emotion from it and just give factual, actual feedback. The increased gym and Pokestop radius bonus helps me because of blank. And if it's taken away, I won't be able to play because of blank. Critical feedback, factual feedback. Uh, attacking harassing, mocking, defaming like actual staff members or the company itself isn't really appropriate. It's not really like, don't, like don't do that. Like I, I know you guys, we're good eggs over here. We can communicate a point without being, you know, aggressive or inappropriate or like harassing actual human beings. But please remember that actual humans have to read this feedback uh, and your thoughts and opinions on like an overall company or a business wide choice it, like that potentially isn't, you know, the opinion and choice of that individual or any individuals working there. So please keep that in mind, be objective, be critical, give feedback, but like remove the sass basically. But yeah, let's just jump into like my thoughts and feelings, dissecting it, discussing it with you guys in the community. If you want to be involved in these chats in the future, follow me over on Twitch. It, you know, it's a format for much longer live streams and conversations and things like that. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below as well. Let's just jump into it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay, the changes. Here's here's the thing, hot take, none of them suck except for the change to the gym interaction radius. Literally all of them are perfectly fine, except for the gym radius and Pokestop radius. Hot take, doubt yeah, it's a hot take. I feel like that's like, should be the average take from this is that it's like, good except for the Pokestop stuff. Thoughts, feelings, opinions. Do you agree? Do you disagree with this very, very <laughs> to the point statement? And if you disagree with what I just said, not with this whole th whole post, specifically that, let me know. Yo, Stefanos, thank you for the, holy dooly, tier three sub. That is greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. Disagree. Incense losing its potency when not moving is really bad for stationary players. <clears throat> let's go into that separately. Uh, spin radius is negative for you, bookworm. Costing them nothing, it goes a long way towards uh, mitigating issues with GPS drift. Excellent point, Kurt. Uh, gym radius is a bummer. Otto says agree. Kevin, thank you for the sub. I'm doing good. How about you? Your access is literally the only feature that's out of place. Couldn't agree more. Uh, Devi says agree. I'm glad they're trying to encourage playing outdoors again. Curious what change we made to remote passes though. So, so, so. Let's just go through it and then I'll get into my thoughts and feelings on the uh, the Pokestop radius thing. Blah, blah, blah. A lot has changed in the last 15 months. I know it's been horrible. I hate... I mean, sorry, not the changes. Uh, the last 15 months have been yikes because Lerona. Uh, okay. Today, as some parts of the world are moving towards recovery, we're announcing new exploration bonuses that make it more rewarding to play outside coming over the several months, including bonuses for spinning stops, playing at in-person raids, and getting in those steps. Bonuses introduced last year that we plan to remove or change will be tested first in the US of A and New Zealand, followed by other countries and regions based on local conditions. Bonuses introduced last year that we're planning on keeping. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we'll only remove temporary bonuses introduced last year after Pokemon Go Fest 2021, starting in the USA and New Zealand. Who wants to give an advance heads up uh, what's coming? I'd like... I'd do like that they're being very transparent about like who, what, when, where, why. Yeah, I don't know. Look, I, I understand why they chose the USA, but I also don't because it's like, as an outsider viewing the USA, 
it kind of seems like y'all are just like, and not everyone, but like people just don't really care and they're going to be back out and about anyway. And even if they've been vaccinated, they're like, YOLO, let's go. And I'm like, I mean, I guess they're going to have a plenty big <laughs> audience to test it on if people are just, you know, going out and about. So it's kind of like, well, they're going to be out anyway. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be, you know, making some sweeping assumptions. But the, as an outsider, that's my perspective of what's happening in the States. <laughs> Whether that be right or wrong, that is what's being shown to me through media. So even if this is maybe a bit of a yikes, why are you testing it on the USA? It's kind of like, well, it's kind of matching the behavior of what's being done there. Shout out to everyone who's being safe. Uh, we're committed to doing this in a staggered way when it makes sense for each place in the world to help people play safely. As we return to the outside world again, these changes are aimed at restoring the focus Pokemon Go on movement and exploration in the real world is what it's always been about. Uh, these changes will be introduced slowly and carefully to make it more exciting to explore the world around you. New bonuses. We're playing together IRL starting at the end of July. So that's still like a whole another month away. The following bonuses will roll out to trainers for testing in the US, New Zealand. Trainers will receive up to two free raid passes per day. Yum. Yes, thank you. Yes, please. Nice bat. Thank you for the sub. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, cool. Two free raid passes per day. No downside to that. That's like literally 100% more free raids <laughs> in one day. Uh, benefit from increased incense effectiveness when moving. Cool. That's literally what incense used to be. If you walk, you get more spawns. Or if you're in motion, you get more spawns. Uh, be guaranteed gifts when spinning Pokestops so long as they have not reached the maximum gift inventory. Cool. I don't typically have an issue. I mean, there was a bit of a bug a while ago where you just couldn't get gifts. I don't know if that's an ongoing thing, but that's not a negative. <clears throat> Car crashed. Thank you for the biddies. Received 10 times bonus XP for spinning a Pokestop for the first time. Cool. Uh, the biddies bonuses will end when the season of Discovery wraps up. Some of these bonuses may stay rolling into the following season and new bonuses will become available as well. Sick. So, so like to me, this statement is, uh, look, the season's going to be changing. Like maybe this season of Discovery is focused on raiding. Maybe the next season is focused on egg hatching. So instead of two free raid passes, you get free incubators or something like, but it seems like this sentence here is, we acknowledge that as the season changes, the bonuses will change. New bonuses will become available. Some of the bonuses may stay into the next season, which I would assume at a base, it would probably be these things would have no need to change. Potentially. We'll make these bonuses available in other countries and regions as it's safe to do so. I understand every place is different. Monitoring, etc. <clears throat> Before we go into what's being removed or changed, we'll jump down to the bottom because it's got uh, bonuses last year we plan on keeping, or bonuses introduced that they plan on keeping uh, that will not be changing. Uh, incense is going to remain at 60 minutes. Sick. Thank you. That's a fantastic change. Love to see it. Uh, incense, again, will be going back to more effective when walking, less effective when staying still. It's still going to work. It's still going to last an hour. It's not going to get as much volume if you're staying still. Uh, no walking requirements for Go Battle League. Outstanding. Uh, you can challenge any tra trainer remotely with a QR code um, to battle. Sick. The requirement to battle with friends remotely has been lowered to good friends. It's cool. So one interaction. Maximum number of gifts you can carry in your item bag will remain uh, at 20. Trainers will be able to open 30 gifts per day. Cool. Continue to receive three times Stardust and XP for your first catch of the day. Cool. Okay. Those are things that are staying the same. PSA. Everything that I've already read, I think is chill. That's fine. Cool. Thumbs up. Incense lasts an hour. It's better if you walk. Fine. Like, let's get back out there safely where possible and do that kind of jazz. Two free, like two free raid passes per day. Awesome. Sick. Get out there, get your free raids in. Whatever else happens, think like great. The like the, the the only feature, if I like, even if it was, if sorry, if I could only keep one feature, if I could only keep one feature, it would be the gym and Pokestop interaction radius. If it was like incense is going back to thirty minutes, I'd be like, that's a dumb choice, but okay, whatever. The one thing that I think should not be changed is the gym interaction radius because it does literally nothing to discourage people from going out to explore. 
being able to easily spin a Pokestop or gym doesn't stop you from having to go to that Pokestop or gym. I can't, oh, look at me. There's nothing around me to like, oh, I'm not sitting at home being a lazy. I can go to the gym and participate with that gym safely, responsibly, with consideration for my community. I'm not like huddled out the front of someone's house being an absolute creep because I can do that raid. I can spin that stop from 80 meters down the road, from 20 meters down the road. It's not even 80 meters. Like I, I'm, there's a pokey stop within 80 meters of me. Yeah, there is, I, I can't reach that. I can't spin that from home. Like what? Like you still have to go to the location to interact. The, the distance, this boosted distance makes you a safer member of society because you're not engaging in risky behavior such as uh, say if you're someone's driving around for raids you're on the car doing raids together right obviously not playing while driving the passengers are playing the driver is driving oh there's a raid on the gym up ahead there's nowhere to park legally to be within range if it's you know the not boosted radius risky driving or risky behavior to pull over and try and raid at that gym to try and get a spin on that pokey stop as opposed to hey we have a large interaction radius there's a free parking spot. There's a safe parking spot within that radius. Cool. Let's chuck a U-turn and park there safely. Hey, it's the middle of winter and it's raining. And normally I'd have to stand in the rain outside to do this raid in person. Oh, cool. With the extended radius, I can be under shelter. It's the middle of summer. I'd rather not get heat stroke or like UV damage to my skin, sunburnt, melanoma risk, cancer. I can stand in the shade. Still very much seeing the gym or the pokey stop and interact with it but still be safely in the shade out of the sun amazing this pokey stop is a mural on the side of a cafe am i going to be an ass standing in the foot traffic at the front of the cafe blocking patrons blocking customers to that business or can i now stand around the corner just a bit down the block and still be able to interact with that pokey stop or gym amazing thanks for not being a pest those like Pokemon Go players on their phone that's like always in the way. We can be out of the way and still be together as a community and outside and exploring. There is literally no downside to the to the boosted ra radius and the boosted radius has nothing to do with people not being proactive about going back outside. We've been stuck inside for 15 months. Of course we want to freaking go back outside with our friends. Of course we do. <laughs> like... That's nothing to do with the radius. Just make this park spawn spicy. If you go to a place that has grass, oh my god, Charizard's in the grass. Cool, I'm there. And I can also like spin the stop that's across the road, a four lane traffic highway that I don't want to cross safely. <laughs> like, I just don't get it. It has zero correlation to how like, I can see how uh, on like a, a like a, a maths side of things where it's like oh you can stay at home and spin that easier therefore you won't want to go outside but people want to go outside <laughs> we want to be with our friends i don't think anyone here is being like nah 2019 2019 sucked man like go fest not hype hanging out with all those people not hype nah nah gross hugs friends laughter like, we, we want to go outside. It's unrelated to the radius. Just let us be able to play the game safely. That's the one thing I don't understand. I, I have given this feedback. You, you guys should see the paragraphs that I've submitted. I've given this feedback. Um, the feedback has been received. All that kind of jazz. Um, so hopefully, hopefully, and I'm going to guess with the community reaction, hopefully it's something that is something they are like cool we need to roll back for now but there's clearly a community sentiment of wanting some form of increased radius etc because the radius should have just been like a feature of the game from day one it's just convenient it makes it accessible if someone's a wheelchair player they're not going to go bloody four-wheel driving over the sand dunes to get to a gym <laughs> but they can reach it from the path now which is nice like you know what I mean? Like, doing, like, Kanto Day, playing, you know, like, in Kanto Squad. We have a couple of wheelchair players in our community. Awesome. Sick. We check with them. Hey, what's the best way to get to this raid for you? Because I don't want to be that arsehole who's like, yeah, let's go up the stairs to get to the raid. And then our two mates can't join us. Like, 
the radius helps improve that side of things too. Having people be able to be like, okay, cool, we can't get to the literal, like, get to the actual, like, cellular mitosis of this gym. I can't be inside this gym physically. I cannot penetrate this gym. But I can be pretty darn close and we can still see each other. If you can't see someone at the gym within 80 meters, like, maybe you shouldn't be walking around the streets wildly anyway. Like, you can still be outside and see people within 80 meters. Anyway, that's my rant. I just think it makes no sense because there's no negative of being able to easy to be able to easily act, interact with the game. Like a great example, the in Newcastle, the court columns and the uh, old like shipping mine. Um, there's two like shipping mine monument. There's two gyms. You can't physically get on that bit because they are elevated by stairs. But we can reach it from the path. We can reach it from across the block slightly and not have to cross four lanes of traffic on a, or sorry, two lanes of traffic on a blind corner. Like, it's just safer, 100%. I'm just gonna screen record this and like submit that as my feedback additionally. Ad additionally, additionally, additionally. Fun fact, did you know, depending how close you are to the equator, this see this little circle that's like beaming out from me? How like my little circle hits ducklet like just stops at Ducklet and just stops at Badoof's booty. That radius changes how close or how far away you are from the equator. So players, if you're closer to the equator, it's worse, isn't it? If you're closer to the equator, your radius is smaller. So you literally have to already have to be closer than any other player in the world to spin. The further away you get, like, the bigger it is. So there's already like a disparity in like what people are experiencing in the game in terms of the interaction radius. So it's like, just keep the bone, like just keep it like interacty. <laughs> I moved to Hobart. <laughs> it's just, I feel like it's just disappointing because like this whole post, like literally this whole post would have been positively received. Literally every part of this would have been positively received. And everyone would be like, oh yeah, makes sense. We've got to get back to like the regular life. Just delete this bit, ready? Delete that. Hey guys, we're getting ready. We're getting rid of the buddy. You know, the buddy would bring you like gifts five times a day. You know, what a treat. We're getting rid of that. Ah, oh, well, like, you know, as long as it's maybe like once or every now and then, like, you know, whatever. Whatever. Reduced frequency of these gifts. Okay, like, fine. You'd only bought me like two berries and a potion anyway. Like, it's not, not big sad. Like, oh, okay, the incense, if you're standing still. <sighs> Yeah, oh yeah, you know, that's annoying, but like, I get it. And it's, you know, it's gonna be the end of July, so we've still got another month of, you know, people getting vaccinated and things can change. Yeah, okay, whatever. Like, just del delete this bit. Backspace, ready? Like, backspace this. Salt reduction by 500%. At the end of the day, the incense decrease, when they decreased it recently, it still wasn't that bad. It just wasn't once per minute, it was once every 90 seconds. That's not that bad. You know, like, and if you're framing it, if we're framing it in a way where it's, you're being penalized, you used to have one every minute, now you're being penalized and it's only once every 90 minutes. That framing sucks. But if the framing is, hey, normally it used to only be once every five minutes if you were stationary, which is what it used to be. And only a 30 minute incense, but now it's once every 90 seconds. That's an, that's an improvement. It's an improvement from what it used to be. It's a downgrade from what it was as a bonus because the world is on fire, but it is still an insane boost from what it used to be. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ari, thank you as well. Chris, thank you, how you doing? Thank you guys for the subs. Hold court. <laughs> I, think the, I think the thing is you guys don't see a lot of content creators having opinions on this because we're talking to Niantic directly. We're giving feedback directly to them. So I don't need to tweet wildly into the universe being like, Niantic, why won't you acknowledge my sentiment? Because I'm DMing them that personally. Um, so I guess the community doesn't see the fact that content creators are going, this is probably not a good idea. Because we're not saying it publicly. We're just, we've got a more direct source. We don't need to go, oi, and hope that they see it. So I think there's a bit of a disconnect there. But we are, we are, we are absolutely like 
we like literally copy paste or we can literally copy paste things that the community is saying there's bugs that will affect people in different countries parts of the world that don't affect us but we can see that and read that and pass that forward like claire like new zealand squad is literally like zoe this isn't working and i'm like hi niantic this isn't working i don't need to tweet it sassy publicly because i can dm niantic and say hello this isn't working like so you guys don't see us being vocal about it which doesn't mean we aren't being vocal we're just not being like posting on twitter and hoping for the best we're like literally hassling them out in the dms uh flight wizard no you don't there's no no you don't have to walk for go battle league they're keeping that they're keeping that again this whole post is like yeah cool whatevs except for the radius thing i just there's so many benefits of the radius thing safety accessibility like safety in like 20 different ways driving not having to cross dangerous roads not having to be necessarily in an uncomfortable situation with strangers or with in a creepy environment if it's not safe to be there but you want to play the game it's like weather safety driving safety all that jazz other bonuses uh not being an inconvenience to society you can be discreet and slightly out of the way but still be out and playing the game it makes just playing the game easier gps drift compensation all that kind of jazz negatives of the the radius the gym radius thing nothing like literally i'm trying to think of like i'm trying to play devil's advocate and think of like one thing and the only thing that they're presenting is people won't want to go outside if they can spin easily which just isn't true there's no correlation causation or oh, sorry correlation does not equal causation i'd be like saying I, I, my, my, my donut shop, we launched this new flavor of donut, right? All through Corona, I launched this new flavor of donut and it's called Strawberry Delight. And no one is buying Strawberry Delight. This flavor must suck. Where in actual fact, no one's buying the donut because they can't leave their house legally to come and buy your donut. Yeah, exactly, frankly. It's like, cool, people can reach some stops from indoors. That's, I guarantee that's ma the minority of people that have a pokey stop in their house. And what harm does it do if someone's playing the game like cool they can reach stops in their house they can play the game they're still going to want to go outside when like their friends are all hanging outside <laughs> again i want to be very very actually very 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 clear here hello smitty um please don't sass staff at niantic don't use emotionally charged language don't say this is the stupidest you guys are here. like none of that none of that we need to give critical and clear feedback you can give feedback on this you can like literally give feedback and say i think this is a bad choice because blah i think it was good to have the radius because blah this is my feedback not you'll suck because there's still humans that have to read all of this that even if they think this is a bad change they still have to implement it we got to be respectful of the humans i assume that of all of you that work in a company environment, ready? Someone in this chat works at a business office, etc. Do your values and beliefs align exactly with your bosses? Exactly with your bosses? Are you and your both, bo like your boss, like both pro-choice? Are you and your boss both? Oh, I, I don't think you should smack your kid. Oh, I think sometimes it's a, like I, I highly doubt that your values and beliefs and ethics and opinions align exactly, even on like the basic things. I don't like salad. I like salad. Like, I guarantee you, they don't align with your boss. They might not like align with the directives given to you by your boss, but you might still have to do them in your job. I think we really need to be very aware and very like, considerate of the people who work for Niantic, work for the Pokemon company, all that jazz. Again, Niantic doesn't own Pokemon. At the end of the day, like a lot of that comes top down. So like, just because someone has to implement a change might not mean that they believe or agree with that change. So take that into consideration as well. Exa yeah, exactly, Claire. It's like yelling at the checkout operator at the supermarket because the supermarket put up the price of Coke. Exactly. 
I agree. Like, I agree. Like, I have not met a single, like, a Niantic employee that was negative, that was, like, in any way not just one of the sweetest people ever. Like, these humans are, like, 10 out of 10 humans. I don't think that they all have the, you know, omnipotent control over what directives they get given to have to implement. Again, hopefully, I hope that the feedback from everyone in the community makes it clear that, hey, everything else is cool, just, just no on this bit. And sometimes that might be what it, like, that might be, you know, the, a boss, a person in control that maybe is out of touch going, no, we need to roll these things back. Like, if you can play from home, you're not going to play outside. Not seeing the bigger picture and with people giving feedback and this reaction, they can go, oh, okay. Maybe we should change that. You know, maybe when the feedback was from our staff saying no. Nah, you know, nah, like, you know. Maybe when the feedback was from these people, nah, no. But then the more different perspectives that give feedback about accessibility, about safety, about everything else, you know, it, oh, okay. You know, there is a positive to this. Oh, okay, I can understand that perspective. And hopefully this can get rolled back. I vibe with that, Mr. Struggles. I used to work at um, EB Games. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry I can't make you a Xbox controller at the back. That's not, like, I'm not Microsoft and I'm not in a factory. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do, man. I just can't. It's just, the white one doesn't exist. We only got black controllers. It's so funny as well because it's like the radius thing. It just made things a bit easier. Like, it's not even a, a conscious, like, when you're out of range of a Pokestop, no. Oh. Oh, annoying, out of range. I'm like, come on, I'm in freaking range. Annoying, pain point. What's that? My plus can just spin things as I'm walking around playing? Like, oh, cool. No frustration. I just, it's like it, it removed a pain point. <laughs> I'm like saying this as well. This is all feedback coming from someone who has been, I, Newcastle, where I live, has not had a single COVID cases, zero, oh, touch wood, I'm going to like curse us now, zero COVID cases. Uh, when we hit July, it'll be a year. We're at 11 months, 11 months where I live with zero COVID cases. I've been playing outside with friends for the Go, Go Fest, the, the Canto Day, the community days since August. August, September, August, September last year. We've been bloody outside and playing. The radius didn't stop us from going outside to play. Like, we still all met up. Hey, meet you at the sheds for Canto Day. We stood, guess what? We stood under the shed in the rain and we could spin the stops that were out of, would normally be out of range. 30 of us under this little shed could still play the game and have a good Canto day because of the radius range. Rainy, miserable day. Still had a good time. Could still play the game. You know how frustrating that would be? We'd, we'd like, we're like this close to the gym. We can't spin it because it's raining. <sighs> Silly. Yeah, exactly. And that, again, that also applies to like people who don't want to be in a crowd. If you don't want to be in a crowd because it's not safe to be in a crowd in your area, the radius helps you social distance, but still be outside and being social. Hey mate, you want to do our special trade? Yeah, no worries. At a distance, safely. Hey, you guys doing the right? I see you tapping on your phone screen. Bit of a dead giveaway. You want to do this raid together? Oh yeah. You still don't have to be in someone like someone else's pocket. <laughs> I think end of the day, give your feedback. I think. Yeah, again, remove the emotion, show and communicate why it, why the radius is a positive for you. I think that's probably a big thing here as well. Rather than being like, this change sucks, taking it away sucks, show why the change was good. Hello, my name is Daryl and I play in a damn wheelchair. And this change allowed me to interact with 30 more stops, 40 more gyms. 10 more gyms, two more gyms, two stops in my area. By removing this, I can no longer participate in those things. Please consider not. <laughs> Hi, my name is Stacy. 
I got mad. I got wicked social anxiety. I love seeing people outside. I love interacting. It's still going to be a thing. I like being able to uh, access the gyms without awkwardly standing in front of the coffee shop that has that pokey stop and gym. Thank you. Hello. My name is Steve. <laughs> like, whatever the positive is, like, give that as your feedback as why they, why you think it shouldn't be taken away. Hi, my name's Stacy. I got mad, wicked, sensitive skin. Uh, and, you know, I don't want to get melanoma. This increased radius allows me to play in the shade and still be outside with my friends. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my stand talk. <laughs> I do, I like, oh, I, I absolutely do. Communicate why it was, hi, my name's, my, my name's Steve and I'm the mother of like three young kids. And I sure did love this increased radius because me and my three young kids didn't have to run across a road at four lanes of traffic to do a raid. We can safely do it from the park. By removing this feature, we can no longer participate in raids on our Saturday morning park trip. Please consider not removing it. I think that's pretty narrow PvP tryhard. Like, I think there's definitely a lot of things that we can just be like, oh yeah, they don't listen. But like, the game has changed and evolved so bloody much and no one acknowledges the wins. Like we can so easily be like, they don't listen. It's like, they could have just not changed anything for COVID. <laughs> could have been like, no, nope, sucked in. I guess the game's going to die. Like they do and change so much. Yes, there are some things that just are still broken and that is annoying as hell. Absolutely. Like no argument there. But it's, I think it's like... It's just false to say that, like, they don't listen or take feedback or try to improve. So, yeah, some of the crazy things we used to have to do in the game to, like, get stuff done. <laughs> Who knows someone who got their car injured in a raid train in the before times? <laughs> I agree. I think what we're all, yeah, what Porkchop says, I think what we're all desiring is uh, thorough communication and proper communication. I agree. I agree. Communication, amazing. Thing. Crawling under a thorny bush to access a wild dragonite 2017. <laughs> oh, that's true. I didn't even realize that. Many of these in-person raids will be prepared for an eventual return of EX raids. There you go. I didn't even see that bit. Cute. What should we talk about next? Actually, hold on. Any other thoughts, feelings on this topic to add your two cents? Best way to contact 92. I mean, you can do like the, what, the support tickets. I don't know if that would be accurate to file a support ticket um but they they read they read socials reddit twitter they do like read that stuff um so even if it's commenting on the twitter thread your feedback um it all adds up all right let's jump across to Corsla or Tepig? Yeah, additionally, like, I feel like this news couldn't have come at a worse time. I do agree with that. Like, hey, there's all these bugs and, like, people are having seizures playing the game and, like, you can't quick catch fast anymore and, like, there's all these weird, like, ball drop things happening. Oh, also, here's this change. Like, maybe fix the bugs first and then, like, slide this in with the bug fix post. I don't know. Oh. Shiny Corsla. Okay. Shiny Corsola is appearing for the first time in Pocket Monster Go. Asterix, asterix, only, only in places that it can spawn naturally. It's not a worldwide Corsola party. If you live somewhere where Corsola lives, it's going to be a shiny very, very soon, as in next month soon, but you know. The Pokemon Company has launched Pokemon Air Adventures. Wait, should we read this in like our Animal Crossing voice because we're on a holiday to Okinawa? Trainers, the Pokemon Company has launched Pokemon Air Adventures, an initiative started in Japan that helps create wonderful travel memories. To celebrate in Okinawa, Japan, a special Pikachu wearing an Okinawan Karyushushi shirt. I can't do that accent with the saying Japanese words. Karyushushi shirt will be appearing in Pokemon Go starting July 22nd. This Pikachu will be appearing for over a year. This Pikachu will be appearing for over a year. So if you're able to travel and get the chance to visit Okinawa, you can try looking for one. 
just like with the Pikachu wearing, I can't say this accent with this Karishu shirt, we're looking to introduce more costume Pokemon that are available only in certain regions of the world. So please keep an eye out for more news. Basically, if you live there, stock up, keep some for trade ready. Uh, they're going to be rolling out more po costume Pokemon around the world. You, you keen to get your, your Hawaiian shirt Pikachu in Hawaii that's only exclusive to Hawaii? Collect them up. Are you keen to get your Australian cork hat Pikachu? Don't forget to collect that. Like, no one else is going to get it. Oh, are you awesome? Like, you're going to get your beret French Pikachu. Wow, stock up. And then when like when we can see humans again, you can trade them. Hopefully, ideally. Ideally. Yeah, if you want your maple syrup Canadian Pikachu, if you want your Mountie Pikachu. Like it sounds like there's gonna be other costume Pikas around the world. Maybe it'll just be the exact same outfit. Like, I don't know, who knows? Um, I don't think this is I don't think this part of it is the biggest thing about like m encouraging people to travel during a pandemic. I think that's the individual can just be like, yeah, nah, no thanks. Um, the shiny Corsa, like, assuming there's no weird COVID pop ups, I will literally be that person that drives to Queensland to go and hunt this thing, which, yes, is encouraging me to travel. Uh, however, if there is some sort of COVIDity, I will not, <laughs> because that's my choice to not do that. Like, don't be unsafe. Um, yeah, the Pikachu's gonna be there for a year. Like, a year. If it was there for a month, I'd be like, dude, that's like, nah. That's like encouraging people to go and travel. It's gonna be there for a year. If you really bloody want it, I'm sure you'll be able to visit Japan within a year, safely. Ideally as well. Sorry, not ideally. Likely as well. Because this is like a Japan event, a Japan feature. Like, people within Japan can probably travel within Japan without having, like, weird quarantine restrictions. Like, if they're not letting people into the country that have got La Llorona, then they're just dealing with their own population. Like, they probably have their own systems in place at the moment. The same as if this, if this was like a Visit New Zealand thing, ready? This was, oh my god, Pikachu, like, Kia Aura Pikachu is spawning with its far now, like, everyone's, like, getting together. Um, cool, Australians could fly over there because of the current, you know, the current thing without having to quarantine. But if you're American and you're like, oh, I want to get my fully sick fish and chip Pikachu in New Zealand, bro, you'd have to still quarantine for two weeks in New Zealand. So it's like, you know, there's, like, there's, there's layers. There's layers to it. And if you can't travel safely, do you have your exit buddy? Should I? No. Find a Japanese person. Find a friend that's living in Japan. Ask him to hold on for you. Oi. Satoshi-san, could you, could you hold on to a, a fully sick shirt Pikachu for me? For a trade. When I get to see you. No worries. Pen pal Daniel, I can do that. Ah, uh, yes, correct. Car crashed, yeah. So, um, have confirmed. Shiny Corsola. Be appearing starting July 22nd. Uh, can it, Corsola can be encountered in certain regions. If you're lucky, you might spot Shiny Corsola. There's no time limit for its it, appearance. So when you're able to travel to a region where Corsola appears in the wild, you can venture out and search for a shiny one. So it will be shiny wherever it currently spawns. If you can go there safely, you can get one eventually, maybe. Additionally, guess what? There'll probably be some sort of like egg event where it's like regionals in eggs, shiny edition. Everything comes out everywhere eventually. Like there's nothing stopping them going like, oh sick, like Go Fest 2020. The raids are all regionals. One star raids. Shiny available. Oh nice one, congrats on the uh, the shiny stat one, that's awesome. I believe we should have a Johto uh, tour because the Galarian Corsola apparently is a mega hair. That'd be cool. I could vibe with that. I could vibe with that. Oh, I can put a, I can put a hair across the side for you if you want, Claire. Unless you want to catch your own one. But I, I can I can hook you up. Exactly, Josh. That's what I'm saying. Harvey Bay road trip. That's what I'm saying. Squad does Harvey Bay. Wouldn't you need an accurate translation app before asking the person to hold the po- I mean, would you? Just Pikachu. 
trade plus like you figure it out here you go um here's your words for japanese trade korkan korkan shimasuka would you like to trade trade question mark korkan shimasuka or guess what crazy concept there are people living in Japan that speak more than Japanese. Who in the chat? I mean, I don't know if time zones, all that jazz. Like, I mean, it's kind of what, it'd be what, 9 a.m. ish for Japan squad. They might not be awake or in streams at 9 a.m. if they're working. Who, anyone in the chat from Japan? Show a trade screen. <laughs> like that Pikachu, plus. Like, you can figure things out <laughs> like it's not it's not rocket surgery i managed to trade with like an 80 year old grandma it's like safari zone go fest whatever it was go fest japan i don't know all the japanese names of pokemon she just saw me and she was like you're not japanese you probably have some cool regionals sumimasen oh hello yeah a korkan trade yeah let's trade she's saying names of pokemon and i'm like i've got no clue go for a scroll pick one out oh you've got this sure what would, what would you like? Me, Google's the name of like, I don't want to take this 80 year old lady's like shiny stash. Just Google's like the word for gibble in Japanese. Oh, cool. Let's swap that. Easy. Arigato. Go about your day. Like, <laughs> you make things work. I would like to miss his mommy. I haven't played in a hot second. Yeah, Google Translate. Google Translate's like outstanding with how the, the things that Google Translate. I'm going to. Hello, how are you? Hi, Genki Des. Hi, Genki Des. I'm fine. Would you like to trade a Pokemon? Pokemon Hi, Kokan Chimas. Yes, I would replace. Kokan means like swap trade, so replace, exchange, and get the job done. Yeah, the picture yeah, the picture boards, like you just you don't even have to know names then. You got like a picture printout of like the Pokemon you want. Tepig. Tepig. Actually, thoughts, feelings, shiny Corsola. Can't crash says new shiny, yay, too far, so meh. Bookworm says this one a regular one. Fair. Walshman says, very happy about it. I live where it spawns and it's a nice colour. It is one of my top five favorite shinies. I'd say maybe top three. Shiny Corsola is like chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Amazing Eileen says, excited to have a shiny regional to hunt for. I hope Coastal will become a little more common. I get fired up for Tepig Community Day. Yeah. Yeah. We're excited to announce that Tepig, the fire. I thought that said fat pig Pokemon. <laughs> We're excited to announce that Tepig, the fat pig Pokemon, will be featured. No, sorry, fire pig. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's aggressive. Uh, the fire pig Pokemon will be featured during July's Community Day event. Uh, Saturday, July 3rd. Cool, okay, so early comm day. Uh, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. local time. Fire pig. Uh, Tepig will appear more frequently in the wild. If you're lucky, shiny. Involve pig knights. Uh, Embor with blast burn. Is it good? I feel like the fire types get a bit, like, nerfy nerfed anyway in, um, in, uh, the game. Snapshots as is tradition, special community day box that's overpriced as is tradition, one dollar quest that is mwah, fantastic price as is tradition, Skitty not staying in the ball. Get it, mate. Thank you, Sorbet. Uh, stay tuned for the t oh, roasted berries. Okay, roasted berries, special research. I'll roast your berries, my dude. Um, bonuses, three times catch Stardust. Yum, 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 yum. And then incense and lore modules, three hours. Happy days. See, look at that. That's something that encourages people to go outside. Lore modules, three hours. Thoughts, feelings, opinions. Shiny to pig. Blast burn, Embor is decent as a fire attacker in raids. PvP, Embor is a bit slow to reach charge moves. Okay, good to know. I think what Embor has got like the blue flames, yeah? Let's have a sneaky squiz at the shiny family. Cause I feel like the- oh, that's a nice shiny. Just making sure there's no weird, like, you know what I mean, results. That's a wicked shiny. That's wicked hot. 
Boston. It's wicked Embor. That's a great color palette. And I bet you that's going to look even better like in game on the phone, like the saturation. Shiny check through to one. I feel like this is an example of like a really good, just like a really good interpretation of a shiny, like taking that, you know, the whole fire, that's the, the red fire concept, blue flame, classic, looks good. Great. Oh, he's got little purple spendies. He's got little purple spendy. That's great. <laughs> little purple suspendies. And then shiny tepig. Cute. Classic. Cherry tail. Just a bit of a tweak on the yellow. The goldy yellow. Nice. Easy. Yeah, I'm honestly, I'm kind of happy with that, like as a as a shiny line. Probably more excited for this than like Snivy and stuff, just because like I like the color change up more. Poisonally.